Hey guys, what's up? This is Be Coming to you from GNA today. So what I've got for you today is my little Junior Colt. And I say it's mine, but actually this is my mom's little pistol. This Junior Colt was actually bought my, by my granddad, by my dad's dad. And he bought this for my grandmother, and I assume he bought it pretty soon after this thing was made. But uh, he bought it for her, and my granddad passed away. It's probably been 12 years now. And uh, not long after he passed away, he handed this down to my dad. My dad passed away... Oh, a year and a half ago now, and uh, my mom, my it, it's my mom's pistol now. And she, she, my dad always loved firearms, and he passed that love on down to us. But my mom definitely doesn't like guns too much. So, anyways, it was basically gonna rot in her house. So I'm, I'm keeping it for her at my house, where it is definitely appreciated and enjoyed. Um, so, anyways, I just wanted to show this thing off a little bit and kind of talk about it. You can see there it is actually stamped Junior Colt. And on the frame, you can see it says Made in Spain for Colt. So this pistol was actually made, as it said there, in Spain by Astra. And this pistol was, uh, the first one made was in 1958. And then the last one made for Colt was made in 1968, whenever... Uh, the 1968 Gun Control Act was passed and this was deemed as non-sporting so it was uh, it was banned from importation so after 1968 these little junior Colts were no more to come into the United States so there's the uh, here's the serial number 59139CC and it's also where is it at? Oh, 59139CC. And uh, you can look this serial number up and it'll tell, it, tell you exactly. There's a website and I'll show that to you now. And that shows that mine was made in 1968. So this was made in the last year that, uh, that it was able to be made, that, that Colt was able to import it. Mine is chambered in 22 short. And there was also a chambering of 25 ACP. Here's the magazine. There's some little baby 22 shorts, and you can see that the mag is stamped Colt there. And uh, this magazine holds six rounds, I believe. This little thumb assist right here kind of kind of hard to pull it down. It kind of digs into your thumb pretty bad. But anyways, and these rounds like to nose down pretty bad in there. But it, it feeds okay. I did, do have some feeding issues on this occasionally. This this uh, grip right here, there's just a basically a, a little wooden made into this that goes into a little hole and that little piece is broken off inside of there. And so this side kind of wiggles a little bit. This other side is rock solid. But I um, wish I could do something about that. But I really just want to keep the original grips here. So I'm just going to leave it like it is. May do something to try to fix that thing down. But you can see it has this little Colt emblem right here. And on this side also. Okay, here's the mag release. And taking this little pistol down is easy. Right here is kind of the safety selector and your slide lock all in one. So you can see this little notch right here. There's a little little hook kind of sticking out on the slide lock that catches into that little notch. All right, so then to take it down, I've seen people do this several ways, but this is the way I prefer to do it is just do it like that. The barrel twists, bring it and like that. And so what's happening is you're getting these lugs to disengage and right there as you rock it in right there those lugs engage. So bring it out, spin it down and the barrel comes out and this barrel definitely has some wear on it.
And this pistol does have a magazine safety. Well, drop the hammer without the mag in there. So, like I said, Astra actually made this made this pistol for Colt, and Astra also made their Cub C U B, the Astra Cub, and it's nearly identical. And I've seen some debate online about whether they are exactly the same or not. I saw some people saying that they are exactly the same. I saw one guy saying that there's um, just minor minor differences in the magazine, but but whatever, if it's exactly the same or just minor, minor differences, they're very, very similar, the Junior Colt and the Astra Cub. But from what I've read, the uh, the Junior Colt, there was way, way fewer of these made than the Astra Cub. There was hundreds of thousands of the Astra Cub, and I, I don't know how many of the Junior Colt, but way less than, than, that, uh, than that Astra Cub. But this thing is tiny. It is tiny. And when I when I want to carry and uh, I want to just be absolutely minimal in carrying, this thing right here fits the bill. I mean, this thing is just so, so easy to conceal. Of course, I know people would say you're stupid to carry 22 short as your defensive round. And I understand it's not the best defensive round. But whatever, if I want to have the smallest package possible and still be able to carry that little thing right there fits the bill perfectly this thing easily easily fits down into my pocket I'll make sure we're clear here okay absolutely clear this thing slides down into my pocket and I'm trying to print it as hard as I can there. That thing fits easy into the pocket. And it's just cool. So there you go. Wasn't going to be a thorough review or anything here. I just wanted to show this little pistol off. I've enjoyed it a whole lot. And... Uh, Wanted to get some high quality video of this thing. Thanks for watching today.